Hello everyone! Greetings from Kharkov, Ukraine. My name is Svetlana Mucha and I am the leading matchmaker and dating coach at Dior.com. Special greetings to our dear friends Ukraine-based agency dating site. Today I want to answer most popular question that our clients and our readers at the blog and YouTube channel ask us. By the way, yesterday we have received a very special gift from uh, one of our readers at our blog. We have received beautiful flowers. Thank you again. This time in the video I have already sent you in the blog. You made the day of uh, myself and my team brighter. Many gentlemen ask me uh, how to conduct long distance relationship, how to communicate with the lady after a gentleman and the lady have met in person in Ukraine and uh, now they are continuing their communication by Skype, email or for example through a dating site. I have uh, tried to create the list of advices. It's not very long and I hope it will be very helpful. The first thing that um, many gentlemen uh, do totally wrongly, they try to critique the level of English of the lady. You should understand uh, that most of ladies in Ukraine didn't have a chance to speak to native speakers, yes? Um, so it would be very unusual for them. Many girls have studied English in the universities, but you know, it's one thing to learn English with a Russian-speaking teacher that speaks uh, English to you, and it's another thing to speak English to a gentleman from Australia, New Zealand, to United States. So. You should keep in mind that uh, when the lady texts you or writes you an email, it would be not nice to correct mistakes. Uh, of course, uh, you can tell her if she asks you yet yes, that uh, you, you, you know you have misspelled this or that, but don't make a language lesson out of that. Try to compliment her efforts and to compliment her English. Tell her that you are doing a great thing, because otherwise you just, you'll push her away and she will stop talking English to you at all. Second thing. Um, you know, uh, a client of mine, after he has uh, met uh, several ladies in Kharkov and he really liked two girls, uh, they are communicating at the moment and uh, he has absolutely ruined his communication with one of the ladies. Uh, that girl, she really likes her job. She has a job like for 10 years and she likes her team, she likes uh, the company, she likes everything, she likes her office. And in every email he was texting her like, oh, you should start thinking about new career in my country. You should start thinking about new job. Uh, you should start thinking about leaving your job. You know, it's, uh, it's painful for her because uh, at this early stage she, just, she had like 10 dates with him and now they are communicating. This is a very early stage, very shaky stage and she is not sure probably yet if she is ready to leave Ukraine to um, stay with him or not to leave Ukraine. So at this moment it's not the time to discuss it. You know, uh, if they have spent more time together uh, it would be a different choice. She won't be thinking like change my job, get another job, change my job, get another job. She will be thinking uh, be single in Ukraine, be with John in the United States. Be single in Ukraine, be with John in the United States. Can you understand the difference? So he was pushing that question too early and she has decided that uh, he uh, thinks that they are already in relationship, or he wants uh, everything to develop too quickly and uh, Unfortunately, this relationship didn't work out. Pretty often ladies worry uh, that if they will move abroad to another country, to another city, it will take them some time to adjust, to learn the language, to get the documents, like the driving license, and only after that they will manage to find a new job or, and to start a new career or similar career. And uh, it is vitally important for a gentleman to tell the lady that he understands that, that he understands her concerns and her fears, and he will be there to support her, including materially, yes, but only if they have a relationship at this time. Uh, you know, uh, when people are meeting offline, when they have a date at the restaurant in Kharkov or in Kiev, uh, you can smile to each other, you can touch each other, you see uh, the facial expression, you have all the chemistry in the world, so uh, you don't have time to discuss uh, these uh, tricky, important topics. I hope you invest all your energy and all your time into romance. 
I don't know why when uh, once people uh, get back to their everyday routine, uh, the gentleman returns to his country, lady returns to her everyday life, people start to put serious questions into their emails and Skype conversations. Um, at this stage, at the first stage of relationship, it's not the time yet. Why to discuss it uh, in the letter? Just imagine that she is still thinking about the wonderful time you have spent together. She is still thinking about the restaurant you have attended, about flowers you have present, about uh, the first touch, how you took your hand while working in the park. She is thinking about that romance. And you sent her an email writing, uh, do you think you will manage to find a similar job with a similar wage in my country? Then we will take a loan and buy a new house. All the romance is killed. It's not time for that, definitely. Uh, she's not thinking about the credit history together with you yet. She's not thinking about taking a new loan. At this early stage, she wants to think about romance. Even if she is uh, a totally pragmatic uh, person with a very down-to-earth personality, each lady wants romance. Dear gentlemen, if you are communicating with the lady, uh, if you have just traveled to Ukraine and uh, you are back to your country, to your city, first four weeks, don't touch any shaky topics. This includes money, politics, religion. Uh, this includes moving uh, and changing the career. This includes, uh, for example, do you think your ex uh, will let you take your child with you? Don't discuss exes. First four weeks, sometimes five weeks, after you have left Ukraine, you are discussing your wonderful experience that you have shared with this lady. How wonderful it was to see her in person. How wonderful it was to watch the sunset together. How wonderful it was to go to the disco. How wonderful it was to have lunch in that small cafe. Think about the memories that you had in common. Discuss it. Um, in three or four weeks, approximately, you will run out of these memories. So what to do then? Uh, you should ask the lady, uh, how was her day? Uh, how is her child, if she has a child? Uh, some friends she has talked uh, to you about, her family. You should ask her, has she watched the, mu the new movie that is coming? Uh, you should tell her how was your day, but don't make it into a huge novel, how was your day. Uh, you know, I have read several really 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 bad letters and the gentleman start telling the lady that i have woken up at 7 a.m then i have brushed my teeth i eat my breakfast i had my tea then i went uh, to the garage i sat in my car and i drive to the office don't give all those details don't try to be romantic try to keep uh, that sparkle that uh, has uh, appeared between you Try to make it burning. Let's assume that you have just started communication at the dating site and you didn't meet each other in person. What will the lady expect? For sure, she will expect compliments. Each letter should include at least one compliment. Or uh, if the lady has sent you a photo, that is the hint that she wants a compliment. You have to compliment the lady at this picture. Compliment her dress, compliment her hair, uh, compliment her smile, her eyes, whatever. If she is sending you a picture and you are not telling her a compliment, she will think that you didn't like the picture. Also, dear gentlemen, uh, it is always nice to show the lady that you are in the same boat. Tell her that it is also a new experience for you and you don't know how to write a perfect letter, that uh, you are also excited about this communication and you are afraid to ruin it. Uh, this will show that you are a genuine person, that uh, you are open about your feelings. She will appreciate it. and. Uh, don't forget about attention. The lady needs your attention. Writing letters and writing emails, it's so romantic. Just imagine, I'm sure you have been there when you like someone and you're expecting a message from that person. You're looking at your phone or your laptop constantly to see something nice there. You don't expect a, a question there like, uh, do you think we should buy an apartment or a house? What would be cheaper? What would be more expensive? It's not time for that. Try to be romantic, try to be optimistic, never be negative and be yourself. Dear gentlemen, dear friends, thank you for watching it. I wish you all strong, mutual love. Love you. Bye.